Should be on man, it's 22G for y'all just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. You know I hate when you lie. Tell me you love me alright. You make me feel like. Alright, so we got the one and only 22G Faye jumping off the porch with us today. Yes, sir. And welcome, bro. Appreciate you having me, bro. Yeah, man. First off, how we feeling today, man? Good, man. It's time change. Damn, I just woke up like an hour ago. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you on East Coast time and I the time up, change. She got yeah, it all I woke up, up. Got, took a shower, got dressed, came straight here. Good show, man. Yeah, so what have you been working on here in Atlanta since you touched down? Or what else do you got planned while you're in the city, man? Um, she's just doing this, um, getting food. I heard the food busting out here, so mm. I'm, trying, I'm trying to eat all the food I can, you feel me? <laughs> yeah. I had some wings last night. It was busting. It was probably the best wings I had. Yeah, that's what Atlanta's known for. Yeah, man. wings. That's some good wings yeah, out sure. there. That's for sure. Okay. How's the food in San Diego, man? I ain't never been out there. It's cool. It's just like less culture. I feel for like. real. See, so it's not like because I've been to like New York, like Boston, Rhode Island. Uh, it's like it's 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 less culture. It's bus. It's good though. It's good food out there for yeah. sure. But it's like like if you if you want like good foods, you gotta go to like like random little spots. Like in the hood, or like you gotta go to like nice restaurants or something like that, you know? Okay, yeah. yeah. And you're Filipino. Like right? little taco shops, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm Filipino, I'm half Filipino. Okay. Is mm -hmm. there much of a big like uh, Filipino uh, population out there? Or? Not really. Hmm. I mean, like certain parts here, yeah, but not really. Yeah. So you, you probably can't find no Filipino food out there. Nah, you can get Filipino food out there for okay. sure. Okay. It's, it's, it's some spots, or like the homie grandma be making it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she would make that shit busting. Nah, that's what's good, man. And do you come out here to Atlanta often or not too much? It's my first time. Oh, this is your first time? Yeah, out here? it's my first time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think so far, man? Uh, you hit anything? I haven't really seen much because uh, I got here last night. We just went for Oh, you just got here last went night. Went to the B&B, yeah, and then I woke up, came here. So I ain't really seen too much yet, but, you know what I mean? It looked cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to hit the blue flame or some shit, yeah, man. You kind of yeah, get I that, that nightlife uh, <laughs> Atlanta experience, bro. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. So uh, we were just talking off camera. So like, man, we ain't had too many people from San Diego touch these steps, yeah, man. Yeah. So I need you to put us on. Like, what's the way of life out there? What's the culture in San Diego? Um, I ain't never been out there either. So put me on too, man. I mean, like, everybody think. I mean, like, what they call it the nicest city in in, in the states or something like that? Because the beaches, like, it's cool. It's like you been to L.A. Mm -hmm. Imagine L.A. just like super slow down and a little nicer. Okay. Like, cause L.A. fast, like. LA is like more fast, it's super overpopulated. So just think about it like LA, just like less people, more clean, like, you know what I mean? Just, yeah. It's cleaner, like, I don't know. It's hella bums in LA, like super bums. Like, <laughs> but like San Diego's starting to get like that. Like downtown is starting to get a little bad, but it's nice though, it's nice. There's, there's for sure like a lot of nice parts, you know, there's some trip parts, but it's like, you know, it's like anywhere, like, you know, there's bad parts everywhere, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a nice city. Like I be getting tired of it because I live there all my, all my life. Like, I be oh, wanting to move out. Yeah, I'm gonna move somewhere like out of state or something. But hmm. yeah, it's cool. So how does it feel, you know, to be able to travel around the country and go to different states, different cities like that? There. I just started traveling like this year, last yeah. year. Like I think I had only went to like Arizona and Vegas, hmm. and that's like right next, right next to California. So I went to New York last year. Um, what you think of New York? It was cool. I ain't gonna lie, I was hot because I wanted to go there so bad. Like my second day out there, I got so sick. That's it. I don't know why, if it was like the weather change or something, like, or I was just touching shit, you know, it should be dirty out there. Like I was just touching <laughs> shit, like, I don't know. Like, I got so sick, bro. Like, I remember like, I was trying to shoot a video. I was walking up the subway steps, like, but my whole body got hot. I damn near collapsed. Like I was about to collapse. Like, oh, shit. I was like, Fuck, I gotta go lay down. I'm in the hotel for the rest of the trip, just laying down. Oh, damn, so you didn't get the full experience. Nah, huh? hell no, but I went back out there with my lady and shit, yeah. Okay. Did you go to Manhattan? Where cool. were you guys staying at? Yeah, I went, to, I went to Manhattan. I went to Times Square. It was nice, it was cool. So you did the whole full tour? Yeah, I did the whole little shit, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's but dope. It was, it, was, it was nice out there, it's hella different. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, going back to your childhood, like, what were you into as a kid? Were you always into music? Were you playing sports? What was you doing as a kid? Uh, shit, when I was, like, little, I was, like, little, little, I was, I was like, I played baseball. Okay. I was, like, I was hella good at baseball. Like, I was in, like, the all-star every year. Like, I was hella good at baseball, and then I just started getting tired of that shit. Like, 
I should just start getting born. I was doing it so much, like, like, like growing up, like, probably till like I was like, like eight or something like that. I don't even remember, but yeah, baseball. And I just I quit baseball. I remember like everybody was skating at the time, so I had to start skating. You know, I was just taking a bus everywhere. Like, I'd go to the homie hood, go to his skate park, go skate. We'd take the bus, then we'd take the trolley to like another skate park. Like, I was doing that for like, I think when I was like 12, 13. Okay. And then I got pretty good at that. I was sponsored by some brand. Oh, for real? Like, nothing crazy. Hmm. Like, some little, like, some little shit, but yeah, that shit was fun. Um, you still skating now? Nah, I could though. For real? Yeah, I could. So it's like muscle memory. I can skate for sure. Yeah. So would you say that's when you jumped off the porch around the age of 12, 13 then? Yeah, that's when I started getting bad. Hmm. Like, I started getting so much trouble. Like, you know, my, I started getting trouble, like, at school, my parents. Um, it's because we be out, like, we'll be skating, but then we'll just be doing bad shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, going to the store, start stealing shit. Like, hmm. hitting the malls, we go to the mall, go to the store, steal shit, and then go skate to the trolley because it was like Fashion Valley, it's a mall. Boom, they got the stores right here and they got the trolley center like right across. So boom, you take everything out the store, run straight to the trolley, hop on the trolley, you gone. Like, no, that's it. I started getting hella trouble, like you ever trouble get with the police and shit. Nah, not for that. Okay. Yeah, I started getting trouble with the police. I started being bad. But yeah, probably like, yeah, like 12, 13. Okay. Did you finish school? Did you go think about going to college afterwards or? Nah. I don't know. I went like, I left school like, I think like middle of sophomore year. I just told him, I was like, oh yeah, put me on the homeschool. And I just never did the homeschool. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bucked on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little finesse. And I just stopped going. Um, was that during COVID or like, or was that nah, just that something? Was before that. I was way before that. Okay. Like a couple years before that. I don't even know. I don't even remember for real, but I remember my pops was telling me he's like drop out this year GD. Oh, my he was mom, telling me. My too. mom was hot, <laughs> but I was like nah. And then I just, I just went on the home school, and then I just never ended up doing it. Hmm. And then I started making music probably like, like three years ago, two, okay. two, three years ago, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you show off the hand tats? And uh, who is that on there? This uh, lady is artist. This uh, Mary and this Jesus right here. Yeah, dude. Did that shit hurt? Uh, my neck? Yeah. Fuck, the back of my neck right here. Ooh. That shit hurt, I ain't gonna lie. Like, right there on like top of your collarbone. I was like, fuck, when I was getting that shit, I was sweating, I'm like, <laughs> I'm bony as fuck, so like, that shit just on my bone. Yeah, they like, say when that shit hit the bone, that, that Yeah, that shit hurt. Most painful one. That shit hurt. Probably, uh, that's from the Buddha, this one? Or this one? That one, or the other one, this, other side, this, other this, side. This, Whatever which one side it is, that's, that's the one that hurt the most. For real. This one didn't hurt as bad as this one. Hmm. I don't know why. This shit hurt. I probably could. Mm. You know, like, if, before you get tattooed, they'd be like, oh, eat and, like, sleep good. Like, before you go get tattooed, like, I, I probably wouldn't sleep at all. Then I just went. Yeah. That shit hurt, though. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, what's your mom, mom's reaction when you come home with it? Oh. Uh, I mean, she told me not to get it. Oh, so you told her beforehand? <laughs> nah, I didn't. I just came home with this shit. Well, because I wasn't, I, I was, I'm not, I don't live with my mom. I wasn't living with my mom since I was like 16. Okay. Like she moved out of state. And then I was staying with my grandma and I got kicked out of my grandma. So I was just like thugging it, like by myself, like on my own. Just. And then I'll go visit her and shit. And then she would just see me like pop up with like new shit. She just sent me like this emoji, like the shake my head emoji. Like she'll just taste me like, bro. Like, yeah, I remember she told me not to get my hands tatted. And I got this hand tatted. And she liked it. She thought it was, she liked it. Hmm. So you said, fuck it, let me go get, get the other yeah, hand. Yeah, I was right? like, fuck it. <laughs> I already knew I was going to do it anyways. Yeah. She gets, like, parents get to that point where it's like, all right, you can only tell them so many times, they just going to do what they want to do, like, you know. No, that's real. Yeah. So you mentioned you just started rapping like three years ago. What, what inspired that? Was that something you always wanted to do or you kind of just fell into it or? Really on some random shit, like, I don't even know. Like, I just ended up at the studio one night. Like, I wasn't even there for myself. Like, homies was recording and they wasn't even rappers. Like, 
It was just trying this shit out. And then like, they was telling me like, I had like wrote a song or something, just like on like a YouTube beat, just fucking around. They was like, record it. Then I recorded it. I dropped it on SoundCloud that same night. And then like, I think like, like a little later on, that shit did like 40K oh, on like SoundCloud. I was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> So I just, that, that's kind of how it started. And then I made this one song. I posted a snippet of it on Instagram. And like, I only had like two songs out probably on, on SoundCloud. And like, I just started getting hella followers. Mm. Like pages started hitting me up, people started hitting me up. Like, and I just kept doing it. Like, cause at first I didn't know how to drop on like, like Apple or like YouTube or anything like that. I was just like, I only knew SoundCloud. It was the easiest thing to do, just mm -hmm. put the song on there and upload it. So now I started actually getting into it and like you start seeing money out of it. So I just kept going with it, you know? Yeah. Did that surprise you that this shit took off pretty quick for you then? Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah, I remember. I remember that night when I posted that snippet and I started getting hella followers. I was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> cause my shit was just, Popping, my shit was blown up, bro. I probably had like 2,500 followers. Oh, shit. If even that. And then my shit was started blowing up. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Hmm. Was it mostly people from uh, from San Diego that were following you, or was it people all over the place? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably San Diego people, probably like some LA people. Okay. But yeah. I'll be having like people from like Brazil hit me up. Oh, shit. Like hella different, like countries, UK. We're going through like, uh, you know, on the Spotify, you can go through, mm -hmm. look at like yeah, what countries. countries. It'd be like hella countries. I'm like, it don't be like hella people, but like, be like a good amount in certain places. I'd be like, oh, that's crazy. Like, Canada, for sure, Canada. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure that motivates you too. Like, damn. People yeah, way yeah. over there, places I've never been. Yeah, fuck like, with my music. I don't even know how my shit reached out there for real. Like, hmm. some random. Yeah. And who'd you grow up listening to? Because your music kind of got like, it sounds like different influences from. Yeah, but like people I listen to, I didn't really get that from like, hmm. I don't even know where I got my flow from. It's just kind of like me, you know, like, I ain't really like, oh, like, I'm gonna listen to him. Oh, I wanna sound like him and then start rapping like him. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? That's kind of just like, I just rap and, or sing, whatever you wanna call it, and that shit just come out. Like, but yeah, like growing up, I was listening to like Hella Chief Keef. Okay. When I was like 12, 13, like Hella Chief Keef. Like, um, Probably, like when I was little, little, I used to like watch Michael Jackson, like dress up like Michael Jackson and dance and shit. My mom probably got videos of that shit, but and Michael Jackson, hella cheap key, um, Lil Durk, and hella just like under underground like rappers. I, I ain't really like, had like too much like mainstream people I always listen to. Like, I always like to listen to like, I just find random songs that I like, and you know what I mean, just playing mm -hmm. and shit, yeah. yeah. So, how do you get the name 22 G Fay? What does that stand for? Um, G Fezos. I wear these every day. Like, okay. I was buying a pair like every month, every week, hmm. something like that. So, everybody started calling me G Fezos. But when I started rapping, um, I only had the SoundCloud. So, you look up G Fezos, it'll be like a million of them. <laughs> so I'm gonna just put G Fay. You know, like 22, that's just my shit. So, I just put a 22 before and a G Fay and then. That's about it. I got you, bro. Yeah. yeah. So, Chopper, that's the first video you ever dropped, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was with Mario, my boy. That was the, that was the snippet I was telling you about. I okay. made the snippet. I posted it. It was a single at first. But then Mario hit me up, and he was just like, like, oh, let's work. I'm like, oh, just hop on this song. Hmm. And then, bro, I hopped on it. We dropped the video, I think, on, like, New Year's. I think, like, 20. 2021 or something, 2020, I forgot, but. Yeah, 2021. Yeah, yeah 2021, and then that's just like kind of when it all started, like, hmm. like that, that song got me my little buzz, like, bro, help me out, like, you know what I mean? Also kind of got me like my first little buzz. People started fucking with me after that. Yeah. Does the video take off as soon as you guys drop it or it take a couple days for, or take a couple months for people to pick up on it or? Um, I don't remember for real. I mean, it's still like not at like two crazy numbers, but like. Yeah. I mean, it's over 300,000, which is pretty good for your yeah, first video. That's cool, but. that's cool. Oh yeah, I forgot, that is my first video. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't really remember like checking the numbers too much, but I remember um, 
because he had just started buzzing too. And then, um, like, before we even dropped it, before we even shot the video or anything, he had his first show. And he was like, oh, come to the show, like, perform. I'm like, y'all don't even got no songs out. Like, <laughs> I got two songs out on SoundCloud. Like, he's like, who cares, just perform it. Yeah. So he performed Chopper, and it wasn't even out. That was it. And like, it was cool, like, it was still turn up. I was like, that was my first show. That was my first time, like, performing anything, like, even holding a mic, like, that shit was cool. That's a hell of a start right there, man. Like yeah. you getting to be able to perform without even yeah. dropping a video. Yeah, like. I didn't even drop a song. I didn't, I didn't have a song on Apple Music yet. <laughs> yeah. So would you say you really started taking rap serious right away, like after Chopper video dropped or? Yeah, I was probably like, I was probably like in this, I would try to be in the studio like every day, every other day, shooting videos, like, cause that's when I, it was, that shit was fun. Like, I mean, yeah, that shit was fun. So I was just doing this shit. Like, I mean, I was like, like, Getting some bread, going to the studio. I start hella, like meeting hella new people and shit. So I start going to different studios, like fucking with different people and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And what's the music scene like out in San Diego? I Seems mean, like it's on the rise these days. Yeah, huh? it's cool. It's cool. Like them is all the homies damn near. Um, hmm. Like it ain't nothing too crazy. Like it's not like you know, like here where like obviously y'all have people that like blew up like you know what i mean like um because like nobody really like blew up crazy out of san diego like at all like yeah you know what i mean yeah not like on a nationwide thing hell no like even la like it's not even a lot of like super big people like you go like it'd be someone popping this fucking la you go to new york like hey you know this person it'd be like fuck no like <laughs> yeah, you feel me like like oh but you go over here like you go down there like everybody know fucking little baby niggas no k flock you know like you know what i mean like so it's like, I feel like it's a little, like now, like, I want to say harder, but it's just a little different, like, you know what I mean? Because we don't really have that, like, uh, nobody really, like, blew up crazy, so it's like, nobody really know nobody out there, like, you know what I mean? Like, worldwide, I would say, or, like, nationwide. Yeah. So, but it's cool, like, the, the music scene out there is cool, like, it's, it's hella different, like, it's probably some shit, like, that we slap out there, that be like the homies, and then y'all listen to it, y'all be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it's be hella different, like lingo, mm -hmm. like styles, everything. Like, I be hearing hella people from like the East Coast say like, oh, they don't fuck with the West Coast music, like. Yeah, that's been, yeah. that goes back to even when I was a kid. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's like you had to choose yeah, a side, yeah, the West yeah. Coast or West, yeah, or you know, East Coast or West Coast. But like, I wouldn't even say my shit is West Coast. No, nah, your shit is. I don't even know is, what my shit is. Yeah. I, I just, yeah, I wanted to ask, like, how would you even describe your music? Because your sound is just, it, it's different. I don't even know, man. Like, it's not East Coast. It's not rap. It's not singing. Like, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it is. Yeah, it's almost like a trance that it yeah, it's just like, I don't know. That's just my shit. Like, yeah. but, like you'll see, like, hella little people from San Diego or, like, L.A. start trying to, like, do some shit like that. Like, huh. yeah, it don't be it. And what's some lingo that you guys be saying in San Diego that we probably not familiar with? Um, Triv, like, oh, you be like, oh, that's Triv, like, it's crazy. Yeah. Like, call somebody really, like, oh, that's the homie, like, oh, really, like, relative, like, um, this is a group called Siete again, they be saying, like, foot, feet, hmm. like, they call that, like, a bitch, like, a 304, like, <laughs> oh, like, that's my feet right there, like, that's his bitch, like, hmm. that's his hoe, like, um, I don't know, it'd be some different shit, like, <laughs> it'd be some different shit, like, I don't know. I got you, man. Uh, talk about the song Faded, man. Like, do you remember that studio session when you recorded that one? Hell yeah. I was, like, my first, like, one of my, I think that was my first time in L.A. Hmm. I was out there for, like, three days. I was just going to hella different studios. Like, I was going, and I couldn't fuck with it. Like, I don't know, I was just having, like, crazy, like, writer's block, like, I was like nervous too, probably like, I don't know, I was just going to like hella different places, new studios, like I was probably like my first time in like real studios. Hmm. And then like, I couldn't record and then um, I went to this, um, this one studio, it was just like janky apartments, like just like some weird apartments. And then um, we go up and it's the studio literally a dude apartment. He hmm. just had the studio in the living room, smell like shit, like. <laughs> It just look, it just look weird in there, like I don't know. Like, like literal shit or nah, just nah, bad? Nah, nah, <laughs> shit, it just like smelled weird to me, like. And then, uh, yeah, so like, 
it was it was in the um, apartment. I just started closing all the blinds, mm-hmm. and everybody like, looking at me crazy. I'm just closing all the blinds. It's bright as hell in there. It's like the middle of the day. It was like probably like 3 p.m. I'm just closing all the blinds, and then my homie start playing the beat. I'm like, bro, I don't even know what to like, you know, to rap about. Like he's like, just talk about getting faded with a bitch, mm-hmm. and I just wrote the song. And I just recorded it like I was like my first time recording on like a like a good mic too. Cause I remember when I was recording that shit sound like hella different. Just like more clear, like better. And then yeah, I made that song and we were slapping that shit on repeat like all night. Like I kinda knew that that shit would go a little bit. And then yeah, like, bro, literally, you just told me to talk about getting faded with a bitch. That's what oh, I did. That was and it, then, huh? Yeah, and then, I don't know, that shit went crazy. I think that shit did, like, 100K in a month. For real? I was, like, my first, like, yeah. I was, like, what the fuck? Like, that was <laughs> kind of crazy to me. Cause I think that was, like, I was, like, one of my first videos, too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it was, like, your third one, I think. Yeah. 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 Well over a million at this point, too. Yeah. I think I, I think it just hit like two million on Apple or something like that. I, I think I just seen that. But yeah. no, it was weird though, cause like the video would have like for like a while the video was at like 800, 900k, and then like just a song on YouTube, like you know, just a song mm-hmm. like already passed a million. Oh, so I was like, if everybody was just watching the video, like, you know, what I mean, that shit would have been like two million. Yeah. You know what I mean? Did you put the audio out first before the video? Nah, it's because when you drop it, like on all platforms, like oh, if you drop it through DistroKid, it's gonna drop on yeah, it automatically Spotify. Uploads. Then it's gonna drop, it's gonna drop a, just the just the song on YouTube. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So people was playing that shit. Yeah, that's it. Like not really easy, watching man. the video too much. Yeah, uh, I know you worked with OGZ, man. What was that experience like? <laughs> nah, bro, cool. I don't really fuck with bro like that though. Like. Um, like he had just like I posted I think like just a snippet I was just like I was playing a song in my car and I was just like singing it in like a parking garage the homie was recording and I posted it and then he DM me he was like oh this hard like uh, he's like fuck with me I'm a, um like let's let's link up like so I went and link with bro he's like oh I'm starting a label like you know what I mean I want you to be the first artist on it and I'm like I was probably like I was like 18. I just started, like, I, I was still just starting, so I'm like, oh, that's that's cool, what the fuck, like, so I linked her, bro, and, like, he was taking, like, he took me on tour, um, he was taking me to, like, the studio, just hella little shit, just, like, had me tag along with him and shit, um, and then, like, a little after, like, um, so I was talking, like, like, paperwork, like, everything like that, like, oh, let's talk numbers, like, whatever. And then um, I remember we had a meeting, like I had pulled up. And I, when I pulled up, it was just hella weird. Like, yeah, pulled up, it was like some other dude there I'd never seen, like just going over everything. And it was just like, damn, they wasn't even talking. I'm just like looking at them. I'm just sitting there, I'm like, hell no, nah. like this shit, it don't feel right. Like, I don't know, this shit just felt weird as hell. Like, and then they started going over the paperwork. And like, um, I started like sending it to people, like having people look over, and they're like, hell no, nah. <laughs> like, hell no. Nah. And I'm like, all right, for sure. Like, but like they was trying to fuck me like crazy. For real? Like, yeah, like on some crazy shit. Like, like basically, bro, I wanted to own me. Like, not even as an artist, like as a person. Like, like I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't really know like what exactly a 360 deal is, but that shit seemed worse. Like, any money I made, like even if it wasn't music, they take it. Like, oh, shit. They, they, I think they, I don't know what the fuck that shit was, but they want to give me like five bands advance. Five thousand. I, I, I could have swore that's what the nigga told me. God, like five damn. bands for an advance. Like, oh, you, you gonna give me five bands to sign my life away? Like, nigga, I already made that. Like, the fuck? That shit crazy. And then, like, basically, like, oh, like, like, they own me. Like, they own me type shit. Like, oh, let's say I signed to them. A major want to sign me for two M's. Mm-hmm. Like, boom, they can sell me. Sell me for two M's. And I don't see a dime out that shit. Like, oh, shit. yeah, so I was like, what the fuck? Y'all crazy thing? I'm signing that shit probably just because, like, I'm young, like I just I'm just starting out, so they think like, oh, I'ma just sign this shit just cause bro, oh geez, he like, hell no, nah. hell no. Nah. Nah, that's why at least you had that sense not to go ahead and just sign it right then and there. Yeah, hell no, nah. and like, like I had people trying to drop the song that we had made. I didn't even want to drop. I was telling them like I don't want to drop this shit. Like I don't want it. Like I'm not like I don't care about the song. Like, I don't care about the cloud. I don't 
I don't want the song to drop because I don't really fuck with bro as a person. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Then they start trying to drop that shit. They start taking it down, making me look weird. Like, my bro, like, I don't care about the song. Like, you know? Hmm. But yeah. No, that's like a crazy welcome to the music industry. Yeah, no bullshit. Shit. Like, it ain't no, like, I don't really like, got nothing crazy against, bro. Like, it's business at the end of the day, but it's just like, it's not me, though. Like, yeah. it ain't going to be me, you know? No, that's wild right there, yeah. bro. Yeah. That is some industry ass shit, though. Nah, like, for real. Man, that's like crazy. a great introduction. Like, oh, yeah, shit. For real. shit can like, get real in yeah, this. Yeah, no bullshit. Like, and people be signing that shit, too. People really be signing that type of shit. Well, I believe it. That's why you see every day, like, these artists getting shelved or they be complaining about their contract because they don't read the shit. How these they artists just go be, ahead and just sign yeah, it. Yeah, like, I don't know. Half these artists really be broke. Like, <laughs> be looking like they rich. They really be broke. <laughs> like, okay. Nah, for real, man. All right, so you got the new project out, Love Me Now. Um, yeah. Explain the title for this one. Um, I don't know, man. I feel like once you, like, when you at a certain level, like, like, when you down, everybody fuck with you because it's like, you know what I mean? Like, when you start getting money, that's when people start being weird because it's like, oh, like, you ain't putting me on or you're not doing this or you're not doing this. It's like. And when you get to a certain level, like you you up here and people down here, they start looking at you weird, like, like oh, like, oh, he don't fuck with me no more. He he act Hollywood, like, or he do this, but it's like really I wasn't even fucking with y'all like down here. Like y'all was being weird down here. I was been stopped fucking with y'all. Now that I'm up here, y'all wanna say something. You know what I mean? Cause I'm up here. Like you just mad, you jealous, whatever the fuck it is, like. So it's just like kinda just like, like let me now, don't wait till let me. When I'm up here, like, yeah, wait, let me when I'm here. Top, uh, like, let me when I'm here. Don't let me when I'm up here because it's something beneficial for you or potentially something, benef something beneficial for you. Like, yeah. I should be weird. Like, I, I done been through, like, hella, like, it's like fake love, friendships, relationships, family, like, just hella weird shit. Like, like, every relationship you could think of, like, people done fucked that up. Like, so, I, like, I don't know. Like, me, I don't really be hanging out with people. Like, I be by myself, like, I be, I go out, like, people be tripping, they be like, oh, like, you shouldn't be going out with yourself, you should be going out, like, a gang of people, like, you know, make sure you smooth, like, I'm like, bro, like, I don't want to hang out with a gang of people, like, what the fuck, like, I'm going to go to the mall, I'm going to be like, hey, I'm going to call up 10 niggas just to go to the fucking mall, like, nah, I'm going to just go to the mall, like, I be tripping, like, I do everything by myself, I be at the crib by myself, like, every day, like, I don't really kick with people, like, people just be weird, like. I don't know. Do you get recognized a lot when you're out in public yeah, like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, every time I go out, hmm. in my city at least, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, I be like Walmart, I be like the store manager is taking pictures with me. <laughs> store like, manager. Yeah, bro, like all oh, that's ladies. I'm like, what the fuck? Be like hella little girls just like, oh my God, like trying to take pictures. It be dudes taking pictures like everywhere, bro. I, be, I go get some food like, oh, let me get a picture. I go Walmart, let me get pictures. I go Target, let me get pictures. Like, it's like if I go anywhere, like, you know what I mean? Just, nah, I can imagine it, especially in your city, man. Yeah. How do you deal with that? Do you embrace it or? It was cool at first, like, because it's like, <laughs> oh, you first, like, oh, yeah, out, you want to take a picture with me? Come on, like, but now, like, sometimes I be, like, just going outside, like, trying to be a normal person. Like, I go outside, just, I'm, I'm fresh off the wake up. I'm on my lazy shit. I'm outside in sweat slides. You know what I mean? I put a hoodie on and shit, but like. They still recognize you. Yeah, like I'm just like trying to like get some shit real quick. Like I just need to go to the store, get some shit. I'm at the grocery store or something. Like I'm with my lady at the grocery store. And, All right, let me get a picture. I'm like, all right, but like it's cool. Like let's take it. Like, but I'm like, you know, I'm never saying like no. Like oh no, I don't want to take a picture with you. But like, sometimes it just be like annoying because it's like I'm just trying to like. Yeah, just mean? be a regular person. Yeah, like know? I'm just trying to, like you know what I mean? I'm not even like, I'm just. Bro, I'm fresh off the wake up. I'm just trying to grab something, go back home, and like, I don't know. That should be like, sometimes it be the wrong time, like wrong place, wrong time. Sometimes like, you know what I mean? Sometimes I don't even be in the mood. Like everybody go through shit. Like I don't be in the mood, and like, oh, I'd be like, oh, I'd be like, all right, fuck it, come on, let's take it real quick. But like, I feel like they get offended, like if I say no. Of course. Yeah. Like if I'm like acting a certain way, like I'm not in the mood. I'm like, yeah, bro, like come on, let's take it. Like they be feeling like. Like, I'm mad at them or something, or like, I don't want to take it, but it's like, bro, I'm just, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm in an irritated mood. Like, let's say, oh, this, this bitch done pissed me off, and then now you seeing her, I don't want to talk to nobody, I don't even want to be around nobody, and then, you know, you seeing her trying to take pictures. Like, it'd be cool. 
I don't try to be a dick or nothing, but. Shit could be stressful, I'm sure. Yeah, and then it's like, I be having like, some fans like, cause I be trying to be nice. Like I be trying to be cool. Cause like, you know, they the reason I'm here. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But sometimes like you be too nice or you be too cool. They start thinking you best friends. <laughs> like, I'm like, bro, come on. Like, I get it. Like, we want to be friends and all that shit. But it's just like, if I'm friends with you, I got to be friends with everybody. Like, man, it's, just, it's not going to work. Like, yeah. How's the feedback been since you dropped the album? I know it's only been like two weeks. It's been good, though. Like, people been fucking with it. They been telling me they been fucking with it. I been having a hell of people like, in my DMs, call me, text me. They fuck with it. Yeah. What videos do you plan to drop off of there uh, next? You got some shit already lined up? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll be like working like ahead of time. So like when I shot like Free Hudo, Cold World, like the other ones on there, like I already been shot those and I dropped them like before the tape drop. Okay, yeah. I'm like, I'll drop a single video, a single video, and then the tape, and then those on the tape, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'll probably drop like, like one or two more, probably shoot, probably shoot like one or two more off that. And then like, then you just go into the new shit. Yeah, but I'll be like, I'll be, I like working like ahead of time, like having my shit already ready, or like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No, that's smart. That way you can roll it out how you want to. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. So man, we know you're young, but what, like, what's some goals you got for your, you know, for this rap shit, man? Shit, I remember like my first interview. My my goal was like, I was like, oh yeah, once I get my own crib, like, I know I made it. Like, hell no. <laughs> I was like, cause I was, bro, I, I didn't have nowhere to live. So like that was my goal, like, oh, I'ma just like get in my own crib. And then like now nah, I got my own crib, like cars, shit like that. Um, and now that's just like not nothing, like. Yeah. You know now I mean? now you got bigger goals. Now it's just like, okay, like this just priorities. Like, you know what I mean? Bills, rent, cars, car notes, like insurance, everything. That's just all just like priority. You gotta do it. Like everybody gotta do it. Um I just had to do it like a little younger, obviously. Uh, but shit, like, I don't know. I say my new goal is just like, take this shit as far as I could get, bro. Like, I'm trying to start buying property, start like, you know what I mean? Like, I told myself, like, I bought this chain. I want this chain so bad. <laughs> I want this chain so bad, bro, just to be like, you know what I mean? Cause that's like some rapper shit to do. Oh, yeah. you, you rapper, you get some money, you buy a chain. Like, that shit's stupid, like, you know, like that shit's stupid. Start to regret it. Like, like, you buy the shit and it's like, you start looking at it like yeah, it's cool. It look cool. It shine like, you know. It attracts attention. Like that's just stupid. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. It's like I would have rather put my money somewhere else. But like I told myself, like it's the last shit I'm buying. Like jewelry. Like before I before I buy another jewelry, I'll go put a mortgage down on a house. I'll go start a business. I'll go buy some property or something like that. Like yeah, make that money. That's work. what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Like I'm trying to just get as much money as I can out the music shit and put it somewhere else, like, to where I don't have to do the music shit if I don't want to do it. Or if it don't work out, I don't have to do it. I could go do this, like, you know what I mean? I got three properties to fall back on, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have to worry about all uh, making rent, like, you know what I mean? Like, my shit right here, like, you know? Shit like that, like. Yeah, cause know, obviously, I don't plan on doing this shit forever, like. Yeah. I don't think nobody really do, like. You know I mean? So I just, right now I'm just focused on, like, having shit to fall back on, like and just hella like different ways to make money. Mm -hmm. Like with the platform I have, just using my platform to start other platforms, you know? Absolutely. I'll be I'll be like making the little merch. Uh, I should be selling out, bro. Like I made like, then my first shit, I made like 50 hoodies. Mm -hmm. Like it was just a plain blue hoodie and I just put a two on this side, a two on this side. <laughs> I made 50 hoodies, out. they sold out in a day. <laughs> I was selling them like 60 bucks. I got another 50, sold out in like three days. Then I made sweatsuits, like me and my bro Fuego, we was doing pop-ups, like selling out, like making like five bands a day, just on clothes, like, I'm like oh, that shit light, like, you start doing that shit, like yeah. clothes, like. Yeah, it's like just use the rap shit to open up other doors. Yeah, exactly, man. exactly. Yeah. A lot of people don't be, like, I don't know, like everything, like, there's so much like ways to make money. Like if you have a platform, like, or if you're just a rapper, like, there's hella other ways, like other little shit you could do to like make money that has nothing to do with rapping. You know what I mean? Like if you have a good fan base, like it's hella little ways you can make money. Like not real shit, cause they usually gonna support you no matter what you do. Yeah, man. yeah, like 
I mean, the, I mean, the best fans, bro. Like, anything you do, they're going to support you. Like, and music and merch and anything you do, like, be the best ones. No, nah, that's real, man. All right, do you feel like you got any shout outs you'd like to give before you wrap it up here, bro? Uh, man, shout out to you Shout out uh, Fuego, man. Shout out Coca G's. Shout out my mama. You feel me? That's uh, about it. You know I hate when you lie. Tell me you love me alright. You make me feel like I'm high.